Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today we're going to go through this box of empties and I'm going to tell you what I thought of them, whether I would repurchase or whether this is a total fail. Before we get stuck in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that bell notification so that you can be informed whenever I post new videos because I do that again. Anyway, let's get stuck in. So, first item I wanna talk about is spacemasks.com. This is interstellar relaxation. So these are we self-heating eye masks. I love these, absolutely love them. So you just pop them around your ear like this here. If you don't like things around your ear, um, you could just tie them at the back. Oh, messing up my hair. Um, I used to follow the girl on Instagram. I don't think I do anymore. Her videos, her stories on Instagram are brilliant. Um, I'll link her down below. Go and check her out. She is, she's really, really witty. Um, I purchased a couple of these for my sister actually recently as well from a local beauty salon in Northern Ireland that sells them for a couple of pounds. And yeah, they, they're really nice, really relaxing, um, really soothing. I even let Thomas try them as well. So this little pouch contains a self-heating eye mask which will transport you to another dimension, relieving tiredness, eye strain and many other earthly tensions. The warmth comes alive as soon as you open it, so make sure you're fully reclined and ready to lift off. So you open the pouch and fold your mask, um, blah -de blah let's see, within a couple of minutes you'll feel your space mask heat up as the oxygen molecules in the atmosphere cuddle up to the mask's iron particles in a natural heat exchange. So um, it says, enjoy approximately 15 minutes of otherworldly warmth. Um, essence of jasmine and iron powder. So yeah, it's iron filings, I'm assuming, in this here. But it is really, really nice. And if you're somebody that spends a lot of time at a computer, I highly recommend something like that for your eyes. Something like that. Next, we have a couple of the head and shoulders. This one here is the Supreme Smooth with Argan Oil. It's really good if you have dry and damaged hair. It will really nourish it. Um, so this is the conditioner version. I don't know where the shampoo went, but I did really like this one. The next one we have is the Color Protect. And this isn't even half used, but I have to be honest, I was using this whenever my hair was red. Um, I'll pop a picture in here. And within a few weeks of using this, I saw it really strip the color out of my hair. This says, color protect color protect it didn't it really stripped my hair more so than the other one did which was really annoying that one fell on the floor as well the next hair item we have in here this has gathered so much dust there's hair on this and everything this is a huge tub from garnier ultimate blends repairing hair food papaya and amla i don't even know what amla is so it's vegan 96% biodegradable formula, it's dermatologically tested, plant oils, and no silicones for a natural feel. So this tub, as you can see, is as empty as my head. This was gorgeous. It was a really awesome mask for the hair to bring it, bring back to life. Because if you're like me and you've dyed your hair over and over and over again over the years, I've had highlights, I've had red in my hair for years, as you guys know, if you've watched any of my other videos. Um, so you can either use it as a conditioner, which I did. You can also leave it as a mask. So you put it on for three minutes. I would have done that once a fortnight. And you can also use it on wet or dry hair as a leave-in conditioner, which is really cool as well. Um, I never did it that way. I used to do things like that years ago. I remember like making a spray up ball. Anyway, I digress. But yeah, so this is really highly recommended by me. I know they have a lot of other types of this, but this is the only version of this that I have tried. Um, Yeah, go give it a go. The next hair items we have here are from the body shop. I absolutely love these. Um, this is the ginger ones for anti-dandruff, which um, obviously no one that I use the um, head and shoulders, you know I suffer from dry skin on my, on my scalp. So the ginger, whatever it is about the ginger, it really, really helps. 
Um, I have used these loads of times. I'm out at the minute, so I'm going to have to go online because I can't go to the shop at the moment. But it is 100% vegetarian, uh, forever against animal testing. And these bottles, I do believe, are part of their new um, recycling thing. So you can take these back. I have a few of these to take back still. Um, I'm trying to stock up again so that I, I can... Um, I think you can get something if you take back so many. I don't know. Maybe I made that up. The next item we have is Body Shop's Wild Argan Oil Shower Gel. And I really like this one as well. I'm currently using, I think it's Mango. And I like that. But I really love the scent of the Argan Oil. And it was so nourishing. Love this. It was gorgeous. Would highly recommend trying it out. So the next item we have is the original source. This is hydrating water infusions of raspberry and rose water. I wasn't fussed on the smell of the rose water. I think a lot of things um, are using rose right now, but I really didn't like it. It was moisturizing. It had vitamin and an antioxidant blend, which I'm assuming is from the rose water, of course. Um, they are vegan, which is good, and these bottles can be recycled. I don't, I have to be honest, I think there's something about these ones, the tops, that, excuse me, it is getting really bright outside. Um, no, it's a 100% re recyclable bottle, it's paraben free, and yeah, there you go. Next we have Simple Refreshing Shower Gel, and... This one has cucumber extract in it. This is one of the only simple shower gels that I actually really liked. I went for simple because my skin, I would start itching. With that original source one, I itched. That was one of the reasons I didn't like it. Um, but I find even with the simple ones, I did itch quite a lot as well afterwards. I've never itched with the Body Shop ones, which is really good. So I would hi highly recommend those for anybody who has sensitive skin. Um, but I wouldn't purchase simple again. I think I'm just sticking with uh, the Body Shop because my skin likes it. So the next items in my bin is my Skinition items. And I don't really think I need to say much about this. I retail Skinition in the salon. So of course I am very biased because of how much I love them. This cat is going to do my head in. Can you please not? Can you not though? Next item we have is a professional. This is one of those silicone pour uh, primers. Yeah, pour primer. This is just a wee sample size of it or a luxury travel size, I think it's called. Luxury size, luxury sample. I don't know. I like this. I don't like it as much as the silicone one from FM Cosmetics, um, especially not for the price point. But it's one that I've used quite a few times over the years. It's good for around the nose area for me um, and sort of this T-zone area because I would, my pores would be quite um, noticeable sometimes depending on the makeup I'm wearing. He's going to start trying to climb these walls. Anyway, next item we have is Mango Mai Tai Bath and Body Works Soap. This is a gentle foaming with cocoa butter i love 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 bath and body Works soaps and i'm so sad that i should currently be in florida and be buying a crap ton of these but next item we have is from dr pawpaw and this is the original balm it's a multi-purpose balm it's brilliant if, if you've got a really dry patch of skin on your face or something um, and you're out and about, just pop a wee bit on, but I love it for the lips. Um, it also says here you can use it for cuticles and nails. Yeah, I could see that something like that would be really nourishing. Um, the ingredients in this here are petrolatum, olea europea, that's his olive, fruit oil, carica papaya fruit extract and aloe bar barbadensis leaf juice so is that just the aloe vera leaf i don't know anyway it is very very moisturizing i do like this it's good for drying cracked hands which um i have right now from washing my hands so much next item we have is from polar is this is icy magic and it's an instant eye contour energizer i i didn't feel like this did any difference the ingredients aren't even on this 
it says this roll on helps to eliminate puffiness, dark circles and stimulate stimulates eyelash growth. That was the thing that I never really understood about this hair. If, with eye creams, you're not meant to get them too close to the eyeball. So how would that stimulate the eyelash growth? Never understood that. Eye creams I stick in the fridge because they're really cool in then. So if you do have puffy eyes when you're rolling that on, it makes it even better. Next we have um, my Flawless Airbrush Foundation from FM. I don't actually think they do this version anymore. I will check and see. Um, I am getting back into selling FM again, so I'm excited. I've ordered some new products from it. Um, need to get myself some perfumes as well. But yeah, so this is really good. If they do still have that, I do recommend it and I will repurchase that. So that, my dears, is my empties. And I'm sure I've probably got other stuff sitting about that I haven't talked about. Um, but yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed seeing my thoughts on what I've been using. Um, I am going to do some five minute winter binnets this afternoon. I have some products that I really want to talk to you about, like this here, which is really white and maybe I should wait until it's darker. Um, this product as well by Soap and Glory and some mascaras because if you remember back in the day I was on a mission to find a really good mascara. I was also on a mission to find a really good BB cream which clearly I didn't finish. Anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell notification and I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye bye.